The 1975 Wimbledon men's singles final was predicted to be a one-sided affair. 22-year-old American Jimmy Connors was the world number one, as well as the reigning champion, and had won all three of the Grand Slam finals he'd played in the previous year. His opponent, 32-year-old compatriot Arthur Ashe, was seeded six, and bidding to become the first black man to claim the Wimbledon singles title. The two players weren't the best of friends off court, so the match was an intriguing encounter. Having not lost a set on his way to the final, and having defeated Ash in their three previous meetings, Connors was the overwhelming favourite. But the final had attracted huge interest. The royal box was full, and of course, strictly impartial. But as we join the action in the first set, Ash is upsetting the form book and leads by five games to one with Connors to serve. Your commentators, Billy Knight and Dan Maskell. And I wonder if Connor's lost his head a bit there. I think the ash ball would have floated out. First service. Oh, I say, that's a that's a really crude shot. Love thirty. Well. That, to me, looked like an extremely nervous shot. Fifteen thirty. Honestly talking, 40. two set points. Game and first set. A super start for Arthur Ashe. We join the second set with Connors to serve. Ashe leading by one game to left. Love. First service. Fifteen all. Another unforced error there from Connors. Connor's having difficulty there with the blocked return of Arthur Ashes, a lovely stroke, lovely controlled stroke, purposeful to a degree. 1540. Oh! Ah. 
Ash leads by two games to love in the second set. So a tremendous hand for uh, the challenger. Quiet, please, ladies and gentlemen. Arthur Ashe. Two love, second set, having won the first 6 1. <laughs> 15 love. Love. <coughs> Forty love. On double four to peace, and uh, perhaps not too sig uh, significant. He's four to love when he served it. Thank you. Right. Ash leads by three games to love in the second set. Ash went on to take the second set comfortably, also by six games to one, so a real surprise developing. We join the third set at two games all. Connors to serve. Love, 15. Definitely on that uh, attempt to pass, the holder checked, he eased out, as the Americans say, he chickened out, he didn't really go for it. Love, 40. Love, 30. He really has got a high percentage of uh, his first services in today. I'm quite sure he's never done it better. Oh. 
40-30. Just out. Deuce. Three two deuce, third set. And the very first time that Arthur Ashe has shown any hesitation whatsoever. Hesitated about a volley or half volley. Paid the penalty, of course. Advantage Connors. It's out. Games all third set. We rejoin the third set at five six. Ash to serve five six with new balls. Connors makes a really flashing return of service. friend the pigeon back that uh, last year we had uh, fly across the court a few times that went away rather quickly this time thank goodness by two sets to one. Could the Connors comeback continue? Well, he held serve at the start of the fourth, at which point we rejoin the action. Ash to serve, love one. Love. 
Well, there's a low forehand volley which uh, a year ago Arthur Ashe would almost certainly have put into the net or put out. But his low forehand volley today, his suspect shot has been absolutely wonderful. Fifteen all. Well, we rejoin the fourth set with Connors leading by three games to one and about to serve. First service. Fifteen. Thirty fifteen. No doubt about it being out, but it was a gallant effort, the volley, to play what was a truly magnificent return of service by Arthur Ashe. Three one, thirty all, fourth set. Thirty. Yes. Lovely subtle forehand by Arthur Ashe amidst this welter of really heavy hitting. Advantage Ash.
Game to Ash. Connors leads by three games to two in the fourth set. Ash leads by two sets to one. It was developing into a guessing game for everyone. We're back into the fourth set with the score tied at four games all. Connors to serve. twice in this match Connors has uh, made errors of judgment and certainly that was a, a very very important one Serving from the match, 5 4, fourth set. Fifteen. So two championship points for Arthur Ashe. A stunning triumph for Arthur Ashe, whose tactical astuteness and ability to vary the pace of his shots proved too much for the power game of Jimmy Connors. It was to be Ashe's last Grand Slam victory to go with his US and Australian Open titles. He suffered a heart attack in 1979 and retired from the game the following year. Tragically, he contracted HIV from the blood transfusions given to him during bypass surgery, and he died from AIDS-related pneumonia in 1993. 
but his place amongst the game's greats was sealed in 1975 with that sublime display of tennis, which enabled him to become the first black male to win the men's singles championship at Wimbledon.